to my dressing gown just slung on the bed there. Classy. <laughs> we have an audience today. Anywho, hello my loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Jodie if you're new here. If you are new here, then welcome, welcome. Come in, have a seat, get yourself a nice hot beverage. Today I have for you a little ASOS haul. Now, I filmed this about two weeks ago. And I, f I was filming the outfits, and I started off by like not talking when I was film when I was filming because I thought usually like I'll do like me in half the screen talking, and then me just like trying the outfits on. But then halfway through, I decided that I wanted to talk whilst I had the clothes on. So here I am, just doing an introduction. I recently had a bit of an epiphany. I've had a bit of a another identity crisis, which is now twice so far in the last four months. And I was looking at my wardrobe and looking at myself and thinking, I literally wear the same things all the time. I get up in the morning, I put my Adenola hoodie on, which cost me an arm and a leg. So, of course, I wanted to get my wear out of it. And my black leggings that are, like, bobbly because I wear them to death. And I think I really have no excuse for dressing like that every single day. It's just pure laziness. If I don't, if I'm not dressed like that, I'm just dressed in black. All the time, literally funeral vibes every single day. So, I decided that I was gonna go onto ASOS and have a look and buy some things that had some color, that I was gonna inject some color into my wardrobe because I seriously, seriously need it. I honestly feel like we're coming into spring, summer months, we're coming into brighter days, and I feel like when you put a bright outfit on, it automatically changes your mood. That's the way I'm looking at it anyway. I'll link everything down below. Um, obviously, if there's anything that you want to go and check out, um, let me know what your favourite piece was. Let's kick off with the first item. So, the first item is this beautiful maxi dress, but it has a little split up the side. Absolutely love that. I feel like, I don't know about you, but like if I wear something that's restricting around my legs. It makes me walk like Barbie. And my mum says I walk like Barbie anyway, like in the fact that I don't bend my legs when I walk. If I am wearing a maxi, I do want it to have a split up the side because I do think it helps when trying to moon over our little legs, you know? It's also got obviously the one strap, which I love. I feel like this outfit, literally say this about every single thing, but this is what I want. Pieces where you can dress it up, dress it down. Multi-use. So you could just put like a little blazer on with this and some trainers, dress it up with more of like a cropped leather jacket and heels. And then I did pair it with this little top, which I am currently wearing. And I love this top. I've just got like um, an Adenola vest top under underneath it because obviously nipples would be on full show if I didn't. But <laughs> I have got grey joggers on, <laughs> which does not fit the vibe, but literally like, I wasn't gonna film anything below the waist. I feel like if someone had this on and walked into a room, I'd go, oh, I love your top. Like, oh my God, I'm so cringe. Just really, really like it. I just think it's so lovely. And um, I wore this when me and my mum went shopping later that day when I filmed this video originally. I wore it with some white cut off jeans. I just felt like spring it and my mum was like, oh, you look nice. And that's because whenever I go around my mum's, I've always got the same old shit on. The rest of the clips are actually what I filmed that day and then I ended the video. So that is all from, from future JB. Enjoy the rest of the video, huns. Mwah. I do look like I've just been dragged through a hedge backwards. We are dealing with some hair that's not been washed for a number of days now. So just bear with just a moment. Okay, next up is this very beautiful little basic. Such a staple throw on during the spring time, spring months. Obviously, as you can see, it's just this like beige, oatmeal y colour, racer back dress. Comes down to just above my ankle. You would definitely need some VPL type um, knickers with this. But other than that, it's nice, it's a nice thick material. Okay, I think I got this in a size small and it's a really nice fit. It's really, really comfortable. Next is a very, very similar dress to the last one that I just tried on. I got it in a medium because I didn't have a small, so it is a little bit baggy. If I went out and had a, a nice big meal, that this dress would just allow it. You know what I'm saying, sisters? Yeah, obviously from ASOS, but it is pull and bear. But again, just a really nice soft t-shirt material. I think it'd be really nice for work because you're not obviously not showing, there's no cleavage on show or anything like that. But I do love a little blue number. Very, very cute. Go hand in hand 
with this dress. I love a chunky shoe, right? And Stefan really does take the absolute pee when it comes to me and some of my shoes. But listen, I don't take my styling advice from my boyfriend. So if I like a chunky shoe, I'm gonna go for it. And I have got two pairs of chunky sandals in this haul. I thought I could do the window cleaner. The first pair being these. Now, I saw these and I thought, they are a bit of me. They are so comfy. Well, I said they're comfy. They're comfy when I've got them on, but I think the real test is if you go like on a day session wearing them or you go for a day shopping wearing them, you would then find out whether they are comfy or not. But I do have a similar pair. I got them last year um, of black ones and they've got a massive chunky sole and then like a big, uh, thing over the top and Stefan just laughs every time I wear them, but I love them. So I do not care So girlfriends do not ever if you think you like something go with your gut instincts. Don't ever take on anyone's Opinion because if you like it just wear it if I like it and I like the way it looks I think a chunky a chunky shoe or a chunky trainer like accentuates the legs makes them look skinnier and longer and sexy anyway, so they're actually River Island, but again, obviously from ASOS. I just really, really love them. They look like little balloons on my feet, and I just... <laughs> I just think they are so, so cute. A pedicure is definitely on the cards for JB. Next, we have this sensual number. As you will have already seen, I've got a top. It was one of the first items that I showed. Um, a top like this like this material I think is beautiful for spring I really really like it and it's really light and airy but I think this dress would be stunning in many many scenarios but imagine going to like a cute little christening in this you could wear it as like a dress on holiday but I think it might be depending on where you go in might be a little bit too warm for that because it is like a very fine knit this top underneath not a lot of support in it so for my bigger breasted gals just be aware of that because there's no back in the dress there isn't a lot of support in the front will potentially fall down this angle is doing me no justice is it i will personally save this for like i say a christening or more of an occasion if you will it's definitely not a casual number okay girls do we all remember those bras from primark that was literally like a sponge like just a big thick pad like there was it wasn't just a bit of padding like the whole thing was a pad that's the bra I've got on now which does not fit me however it is the only strapless bra that I do have so if I look like I've got a massive pair of humongous tits sorry honey's camera battery let me down then as I was saying here is the next outfit which I am in love with I've got a couple of little crochet tops in this haul and I'm obsessed. I feel like it's giving off holiday vibes. But it's in a size medium and I'm glad I did. Especially with this bloody padded bra on. Um, but this is what it looks like from the back. And then to go with this top, I've got these jeans on, which are like, um, you see the stitching on them? But they're sort of like a cargo jean. Obviously like this like off-white color. Very, very flattering, I must say. Like brown stitching on them. Love this little ensemble. Do excuse the bra. We need that needs sorting right now. I do need a new strapless bra that actually fits. <sighs> Next little ensemble. Before I forget, the top is in a size eight. The jeans are in a size ten. But let me tell you, I've either put on some pounds recently or the sizing of these jeans is not correct. But the tens are a bit of a squeeze, not, not gonna lie to you though. Um, so this is the other crochet top I was telling you about. Absolutely lovely. A little bit more coverage in this one. I haven't got a bra on. Um, a bit longer than the last one as well. Love that. And then with the top, I've paired that with these pink fleur jeans. Very, very tight. I would not be going for an Italian in these jeans. I just wanted to inject some color into my life because I literally so so boring and just reaching for the same things all the time I just wanted something a little bit different and this is definitely different for me but I feel like I could absolutely rock this outfit I love it they are a great length these jeans as well just for reference I'm five foot I'm just under five foot six so just for reference a lot of jeans are too short for me unfortunately um but these are a nice length okay honeys we are nearing the end now but this is like one of my all-time favorite outfits ever 
this top like takes me back to when I was like 10 years old and you know when you go to Primark do your little bit of shopping before your holidays and you pick up these little strappy tops that have just got this like white trim is that just me remembering that or is that a thing so this top it says Los Angeles on it somewhere that I've never been probably never will go to and I just love it it's so oh god I sound so cringe but it's so like playful and cute and I love it and I just think it looks stunning with these jeans which I am honeys I am obsessed obsessed check print yellow and white absolutely i feel like a groovy chick i think it's waist 28 length 32 or something um so i don't know what that equates to as you can see this pattern is just amazing i love it so so much i i'm just obsessed i don't know what it is with me at the minute but like i just love wearing pink i was on vintage yesterday like selling loads of clothes and before i knew it i was like ordering loads of pink like, i don't have any pink gym wear which is surprise well it's not surprising really but I, again i just stick with like muted colors black beige like them are the only things that i pick up uh, but all of a sudden i just want to like inject color into my life i don't know whether it's because it's sunny now and i just feel like it's just such like yellow and pink are such uplifting colors so that's why i love this outfit so so much but it doesn't end there going back to the chunky shoe hype stefan will love these I got these pink flip-flop style. Now, I did order these thinking I may not be able to walk in them just because they are such a chunky shoe. And let me tell you a little story time right now. Me and my cousin had these Barbie heels. Well, they were like Barbie wedges. We must have been like six years old these Barbie wedges. I used to go over on my ankle in them all the time to the point where my dad got so annoyed with me and binned them and I was so upset. These just remind me of that. This outfit is giving me so much nostalgia, it's unreal. And then to top this outfit off, this is the softest cardigan I ever have felt. But it's this like fluffy, soft material. It's unbelievable, it's so nice. Just as a little transitional piece, there is a theme running. Now we have these brown checkered jeans which i love so much these are a straight leg jean these are a 30 32 so a little bit bigger than the last pair so a little bit more roomier and they are definitely a stretchier material which i love but i don't know what it is about this checker print i feel like it's very very flattering i really really like it and yeah i just think they're just a little bit something different and i think you could definitely tone it down with just more of a beige color top or a white top Hello my darlings, it's JB here from the further future. It would appear that I am such a professional and organised queen that I did not even end this video and I thought I did. That day I just filmed the last little bit of footage then switched the camera off and didn't even think about it. So anyway, here we are. Thank you so much for watching. I will link everything down below and this video is going up this evening it's only took me two weeks to get it filmed and edited and up for you but here we are. I really really hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below, let me know what your favourite piece was, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Mwah.